Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create a table now that you have collected your data on uh, what different types of drink yourself and your family are drinking in the day. When I talk about a table, I don't mean a table like this. That's a table that you might find in your house or in school. Uh, we're not talking about this kind of table. We're talking about a table that we can use to present data or information. This is the type of table that I'm talking about. So a table has headings and it tells you information. So here it will tell you the heading is colour and then it lists the colours that we are going to be looking at. And then it tells you number of children and it tells you how many children like this colour. So in a table, you would have a, a main heading or a title that tells you what information you're presenting. So it might say, um, butterflies, class, favorite colors, So remember, when we do a heading, we always, always underline it. So I've underlined that with a ruler. So in our table here, it tells us the information. It tells us five children's favourite colour is red, eight children's favourite colour is green, seven children's favourite colour is blue, and two children's favourite colour is yellow. So a table is very similar to a pictogram, but instead you're just using numbers instead of pictures. So I'm going to show you how to uh, change your tally chart into a table. So you should all have a tally chart that looks like this now, that you've collected your data as to how many times people in your family have um, had a drink and what type of drink they had. So our table is going to look very similar to this, but instead of using tallies, we're going to have numbers. First of all, I need to write a heading. So my heading is going to say, the number and types of drinks my family consumed in one day. Consumed means eat or drink. Consumed means eat or drink. So the number and types of drinks my family consumed in one day. Don't forget to underline your heading. Have your tally chart next to you whilst you're creating your table. The first thing you need to do is write down the names of um, the people who are in your family. Now that you've done this, <clears throat> you've written the names of the people in your family, you need to write on, on this side the drinks <clears throat> that you included in your tally chart. So water, squash, fizzy drinks, milk, alcohol. So just for the purpose of this, I'm just going to do water and squash, but you would do all of the ones that you put into your tally chart. You will then need to draw lines to separate each um, of the items in your table, just like you did in your tally chart. Make sure you use a ruler to do this. If you want to use a computer to do it, uh, you can do that. That's uh, no problem at all. There's a good um, tool to use on Microsoft Word where you could um, create a table on there. Okay. So don't forget in your one, you're going to include everything that you had on your tally charts. But for my example, I'm just showing you water and squash, so the first two columns in my tally chart. Okay. Oh, we need to under, we need to put a line here as well to separate Mrs. Jones's numbers from the water and squash headings.
Okay, so now you need to look at your tally chart and think and count up how many tallies you've got so that you can put the numbers in your table. So the difference between a tally chart and a table is the tally chart will have tallies, but a table would have the number. It might not always be a number in a table. It could be information. So it could be um, if your table was what is your uh, what is everyone in my family's favourite animal, then you might have the favourite animal written in here. But in this example, it's going to be a number. So I need to go to my tally chart and say, how many glasses of water did Mrs Jones drink? I can see I've got five and another one, so that's six. So in my table, I would write six. Then if I go down to... Mr. Jones, he had one, two, three, three glasses of water. So I'm going to put that in here. Then I'm going to look at how many glasses of water Jamie had and he had one. So I'm going to write that in here. And how many glasses Isabella had and she had five. You can see that's the mark for five there. And then I'm going to look at my squash column and see how many glasses of squash did Mrs. Jones have? None. So I'm going to put zero in here. And Mr. Jones had none. So I'm going to put none in there. Zero means nothing. How many glasses Jamie had, which was one. And how many glasses Isabella had, which was zero. So you're going to keep going until you have changed your tally chart into a table and you've got a heading you've got nice straight lines using a ruler and you've got the numbers in the right places once you have finished your table i then want you to evaluate what your table tells you so for example if we look at what mrs jones drank in one day she drank six glasses of water she didn't have any other types of drink so, Mrs. Jones, we, really, we should be drinking about eight glasses of water a day. So, Mrs. Jones could do with drinking a bit more water and maybe some milk to get more calcium. So, I've written in my evaluation, Mrs. Jones drank the most amount of water because everybody else drank less than her, but should drink two more glasses per day. She should drink more milk to give her some more calcium. Now I'm going to have a look at what Mr. Jones drank. Three glasses of water, one fizzy drink and one um, drink of alcohol. So Mr. Jones really needs to drink more water and he could do with drinking some more milk as well. It's fine to have a treat, a fizzy drink or if you're an adult, you can have um, a bit of glass, you know, glass of wine or some beer or something. That's absolutely fine as long as it's not too much. So I've written, Mr. Jones should drink much more water, especially on hot days. He drank a reasonable amount of fizzy drinks and alcohol. If that had been five or ten, then we would probably be saying that's too much. So now let's look at what Jamie drank. Jamie only had one glass of water, two glasses of squash, one fizzy drink and one glass of milk. So Jamie's done, done well to drink one glass of milk, so he's got the calcium intake. Fizzy drinks are quite low, so that's good because it's okay to have, you know, one, one small treat. Two glasses of squash and one glass of water. So I think really Jamie should try and just drink more water rather than squash. So I've written Jamie should drink more water instead of squash to keep healthy. Yeah. 
So now let's look at Isabella. Now Isabella doesn't like squash or fizzy drinks, so she doesn't didn't have any of those. And obviously she's not an adult, so she wouldn't have been able to have any alcohol. So she drank five glasses of water. She's only four, so that's a really, really good amount of water for her. Um, but she hasn't had any milk. So that's really important, especially for children, to make sure that they're, they've got enough calcium for their teeth and bones. So I would be saying for Isabella that she needs to try and drink at least one glass of milk a day. So I've written in my evaluation, Isabella should drink more milk each day. So everybody, now it's your turn. So you're going to turn your tally chart, and tally chart's really good for collecting data. You're going to turn that into a table now, which presents the information so that you can see it really, really clearly. Once you've got your table um, on what everybody's been drinking today, then write a, um, an evaluation um, and you can advise your family on how to be more healthy. Good luck, everybody. We can't wait to see your work.